Hey, what's up fam? It's been like three months since I posted my last Division 2 video. I wanted to expand my horizons and learn new things about the art of content creating. But I just read the patch notes and only this could have brought me back. I think this time around we're in for a treat. So don't hesitate to like the video before we get started. Also subscribe if you're new to my channel. Okay, there are a few new named chess pieces, some quality of life changes, also new named weapons. But the only three things I'm concerned about in these patch notes are this new gear set called Ortiz Exuro, the exotic LMG Iron Lung, and the exotic SMG Yoroboros, if I pronounced that correctly, which is only attainable upon completing the new incursions coming out. Now let me make something very clear. This gear set called Ortiz Exuro is something we've been waiting on the devs to release since the beginning of the Division 2's release. From the start, the flame turret variant has never been desirable to use, and now they've literally given us what we've been asking for, hopefully. Now I say that because this gear set's talent is called Ortiz Incinerator Turret Prototype, and it does three things. It grants a 360 degree turret spin, which we do not have now. It just rotates at a 30 degree angle, right to left, very situationally bad. Number two, you're immune to your own turret, whereas we aren't now. And three, the turret explodes when disabled. Now, just from reading this one talent, I can't help but think of Firecrest from The Division. But remember, I said hopefully they've given us what we want. Because it says the turret has a 360 degree rotation, right? This does not mean that the turret auto targets the enemy like it did in The Division back in the day. That's what I want. Anyways, here's what it all does. The two piece equipped gives you plus 20% burn duration and 15% skill health. Three pieces equipped gives 40% burn damage. Four pieces equipped unlocks the new turret talent that I just described. Now the chest piece and backpack exclusive talents are chain combustion for the chest, enemies set ablaze by the Ortiz incinerator, turret prototype ignite other enemies within two meters. The backpack bonus called heat stroke plus 25% weapon damage to enemies set on fire by the Ortiz Incinerator Turret Prototype and plus 25 Ortiz Incinerator Turret Prototype range. <laughs> okay now, I'm gonna put the OG Firecrest on the screen right now so we can compare the two and see how similar these two gear sets are. Now upon reading this, I must say that this is almost identical. All they did was play with the words, mix them around a little bit, but it's the same essentially. And here's the Iron Lung with the talent Ardent. Shooting heats the weapon up, filling the heat meter. The meter is equivalent to 50% of the weapon's standard magazine. When the meter is full, rounds shot by the weapon will ignite enemies. When not shooting, the meter constantly depletes. Reloading or swapping to another weapon fully depletes the meter. So using this exotic LMG would complete my Firecrest setup and solidify it as being resurrected. I can't wait to make a build with this and I'm excited that the PTS start so soon i'm already preloaded and ready to go if you want me to stream then let me know down in the comments now it doesn't state in the patch notes if we'll be able to play the incursions or not i wouldn't think so because incursions have always been a huge part of division universe in the first division we had no raids so incursions were the only activity we had that made us feel like we were at least a little bit in a raid they were also very fun i remember farming them just to get my perfectly rolled house and now people are going to be doing the same to try and get their Yoroboros exotic SMG. By the way, here's what that does. The talent is called Rule Them All. When the agent has a status effect applied to them, 50% of the ammo in their next magazine will apply the same status effect to their target. This effect will only occur during combat. <laughs> With this, I can just see talents like Trauma being overclocked when using this weapon, or a status DPS build with multiple statuses being applied, then even more with this talent. I already have builds on my channel that <laughs> abuse status effects. I'm talking about multiple status effects at the same time. All I need to do is swap the weapon. I think I'm using the blue screen in that build. But nonetheless, I'd love to get into the lab to really see what's up with this weapon but it actually sounds insane now i've read about the other gear and i gotta say man i don't know what goes on in these devs minds sometimes but there are some things that they just don't need to include in brand sets like this one lingamo i don't know what letter in there is silent but this is a brand set i mean the 20 percent explosive resistance is great that is instrumental in legendary missions but come on man 
skill health skills are already super tanky and unless this is something very useful or something you'll be making more useful in the future then please don't include it anyways if you made it to the end and you're a goat and i appreciate your support especially me being gone for so long no matter what the division 2 the division in general will always have a special place in my heart it's the game that was the start of identity on youtube and i can't forget that but enough of the sentiments don't hesitate to like the video if you liked it also subscribe to my channel if you're new here i'll see you in the next one be right out